Hey everyone, I'm here today with 150 parrots. A year ago, Greyhaven Bird Rescue and Night Owl did an extraordinary thing. They took in 600 sick and neglected birds and rehabilitated them. We still have 150 birds needing homes. These include macaws, cockatoos, Amazon parrots, and a few smaller birds. So um, we're basically split up between uh, macaws and cockatoos. Um, so we have still maybe about 45 or 50 or so macaws and the rest are all cockatoos. They have cages here and as much as we don't like having them in cages, we get them out as often as possible. Free flight sounds awesome on paper. But when you're in a room with that many birds and they're all free, free flying, I mean, you can't expect everything to go smoothly. You have birds that are going to fight. They have, you know, you can't manage birds. You can't watch them closely for their health. When they came here, they were so nervous. They'd sit at the back of the ca cage, cling to the bars. We'd have to cover the cages in blankets just for their own anxiety. And they've really come out of their shell. I mean, we have over a dozen that'll now come out and sit on your arm. I mean, Mango was one of them. We have several volunteers that come in daily. Food, water, papers, grates, all the hard work, all the hard stuff, just to keep them happy and comfortable until they could um, find their own home. You know, places like Night Owl and West Coast who have donated um, or given us discounts on things like food, pellets, seeds, things like that. And we have many volunteers that come in that just provide us with the produce that we need for the week. So Telus has sent in a lot of people who come in and they'll do uh, once a week, a group of four or five people that will come in and do a, a session in the morning, do some feeding, papers, grates. So I mean, first off, we have to pay for rent for the shelter, which is several hundred, several thousand dollars a month. Um, and then we have extreme vet bills. I mean, we have a lot of birds here, and if you've got a vet bill of maybe a thousand dollars per bird, at the 500 plus birds that we had initially, we're looking at over $500,000 in medical bills alone. It's very expensive to look after this many birds. Well, I mean, the, the whole exotic trade issue is never ending, right? As much as we'd like to see it all just kind of shut down, it's just not going to happen. So right now here we have the WPR birds, but Greyhaven itself has been around for a long time. So, as, you know, if we adopt out all the WPR birds, there's still all the other birds that get abandoned on a daily basis that we need to look out for. So, unfortunately, I think we will be around for a long time. We need homes. We need to find people that are willing to adopt forever homes for these birds. So what I am asking for today is that if you have ever considered owning a bird, if you have family members who would make a great adopting family for one of these birds that you reach out to Greyhaven or Dudney Hospital or Night Owl and say, hey, I'm willing to adopt. They will work with you. They will make sure that this is an appropriate match for your home. But we need to find homes for these birds. I mean, these birds, they're desperate for love. They're desperate for attention. There's a bird for everybody here, for sure.